Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll be putting a ChatGPT-like model on a Raspberry Pi. We're not going to use actual ChatGPT because OpenAI obviously isn't open anymore, but we will be using a model called Alpaca, which this goes off of Llama. And after those weights leaked, people did a whole bunch of instruct tasks on Llama similar to ChatGPT's instruct training to try and get it to be similar in style and quality. And from what we've seen, we've been able to get similar performance to the DaVinci 3 model. We'll start off by grabbing the Raspberry Pi imager and downloading it. Once you start it up, make sure you already have a micro SD card ready to be imaged plugged into the computer you're running the imager on. Set your settings, enable your SSH, and give it the Wi-Fi credentials, then set it to write. Thanks to the power of editing, we can make this go 10 times as fast. Once you're done with that, you're going to disconnect your Raspberry Pi, right? And you're going to take that micro USB that you just put that new OS on. You are going to put it into an actual Raspberry Pi. This is a model 4B. So it's got four gig or eight gigabytes of RAM. Then we're going to plug in our power supply and we're good to go. I don't want to deceive anyone here. Once I got to this point, a lot went wrong. First, I forgot my password, then my username, then I updated the Pi's packages and there were problems with those updates. There were conflicting packages and some of them weren't made to go on the Pi. I cloned the GitHub I was trying to work from, but then there was a problem with that. And then I didn't have pip installed, so I couldn't install requirements. For anybody who gets into this situation, don't lose hope. It's sudo apt-get install python 3-pip to solve that particular issue. But then once I had all of the packages installed, I tried to get it to run, but was getting really weird errors. Probably because the Python that I was set to run was not matching the Python that I had installed, and neither of them were made to go on the Raspberry Pi's ARM64 ARM architecture. So, then I checked Twitter to make sure that the proof was still there that somebody had gotten this to run on a Raspberry Pi because everything in, on Twitter is always true. And that was my inspiration. So then I got to error handling. I looked through issues, I looked through comments, I looked through forums. There's not a whole lot of people who have done this or commented on it. And I won't go into everything that I tried, but I will tell you this, it is way easier to work with the original repos than the forks. So I tried the original repo. This is the Alpaca CPP repo. The original repo though had a specific problem in store for me, segmentation. These models have very, very particular tuning that they require both from a software perspective and from a model perspective. In this case, it's how many files the models were split into. There didn't seem to be a whole lot that I could do about it because I didn't know the exact place that the models were meant to be segmented. And especially considering there was already an issue brought up about it on that original repo less than four hours before I checked it. So I stepped away for a minute. And then I had an idea. What if I redid everything, but instead of using Raspbian, I used Ubuntu LTS. Now, if you're curious about that, Ubuntu is just another, it's another type of Linux kernel as opposed to Raspbian. It's a little bit more used and a little bit harder to access a little bit less beginner friendly, but I knew that I had enough RAM. I knew that there was enough power on the on the Pi. So I did a clean install from of Ubuntu LTS from the Raspberry Pi imager and got rid of all the unnecessary packages. Cloning the original Alpaca CPP repo, it just took a make file and a quick curl of the 7 billion parameter model for magic to finally happen. Loading in the chat module, I asked it my first question. What do you know about the YouTuber I'm Jones? I did this because I'm incredibly vain. It's weird because it didn't get my birth year, my state that I live in, or any individual details right about me, but it did get the general feel of me. My channel did start with video game content, and I still post that sometimes. I decided to prompt it in the right direction to talk about generative AI, and again, it didn't get any individual details right, because no, I'm not one of the few people that can use GPT-2, but it did get my career path so far overall correct, including healthcare stuff. Anyway, that's how you do this, that's how you set this up. Please use this responsibly for research purposes. Bye!